Welcome! In front of me I have Infinix Watch 1 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. First thing we need to do is to turn on our watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the side button. Keep holding the button until you see the Infinix logo on the screen. Once you see the logo you can release the button and wait until the watch is done booting up. And if your watch is brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings, you will see this QR code on the screen. And basically, this is the QR code for the that will direct you to the download of the app you need to uh, install on your phone to pair the devices together. So you can do it. What you can do rather is to open the camera app on your phone. Uh, of course, you need to have the internet so you can download the application, but uh, open the camera app. Uh, and on my phone, I can just point the camera on the QR code, it will detect it. Sometimes you just need to use the uh, Google Lens for that uh, on different phones. So if it doesn't detect the QR code, use the Google Lens and then tap on the link. It will direct you to this page. And here, basically, it will redirect you to the uh, Play Store. And this app is called My Health by Tran Transition Holdings. So you can tap on install. All right, we need to log in. So, you know what? I'm just gonna open the Play Store on my phone directly. I tap on search and type in my health. This way it will be easier. Yeah. And here we have the application, my health trans uh, transition holdings. You can tap on install and wait until the application is done installing. Okay, and once the application is done installing, you can tap on open to open the app, then tap on welcome, agree. Here you can uh, set up your goals for the steps, I believe. Oh no, this is just um, introduction to, a, to an app. It tells you the functions. We can tap on skip to skip this. And now we can set up our profile. Also, you can skip it if you want to, but to set it up, simply select the gender the height, the weight, the birthday, and then tap on done. Then tap on got it. Allow the permission or deny it. But if you want to track the health stuff, you will need to allow it. This is for notifications, allow it or deny it. And now you should see the health page, the health page of the application. Once you see the health page, you can tap on devices, tap on add, tap on uh, login. Apparently we need to log in. So we need to uh, use an account. If you don't have an account, you can tap on... Uh... Oh, never mind. We can just enter the email address. So let's enter the email address. Then we can enter the CAPTCHA. And then we can tap on get the code. Oh, we need to agree to the terms of use and get the code. It should send the code to our email address. So let's check. Here we have it. It's 388-3881. Okay, and now we can tap on login slash register. Allow the required permission. Allow another permission. It will start searching for nearby devices. It should detect our watch after a few seconds, as you can see. And now we can tap on the plus button. And after a few seconds on the devices page, your watch will appear. It will be ready to use, which means that the devices are paired together. And that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.